Hey, it's Merle Vanelli, and today I'm going to be talking about the seven different types of hair extension methods there are out there and which one might be good for you. I've been getting tons of questions on whether or not a weft installation is better or care links or eye links. So I thought I'd break down this video into each extension method and why you would use one over the other. And this video is honestly perfect for either a hairstylist or if you're a client just wanting to learn more about which hair extension method might be right for you. Now I want to start out with, yes, there are seven different hair extension methods. There's weft installation, eye links, care links, flat tip, tape-ins, and of course, clip-ins and halos. Now that's not to say there's a ton of other types of hair extension methods out there, but these are the most popular ones. And you're gonna be able to find each of these extension methods at donabellahair.com. So if you want more information on any of the extension methods that we're gonna be talking about, be sure to check out the description down below. Now the first extension hair method I want to talk about are tape-ins. These are pretty popular and really easy to install. They last about four to six weeks and yes, they need to be removed and then re-taped and then reinstalled. They're probably one of the quickest install methods that you can do, which makes them really desirable for a lot of clients. The other benefit to these is there's no tools needed. You simply peel the tape on each side and then sandwich it right on top of each other. There's also single-sided tape as well, so if you're working with someone with really fine hair, you could just use a singular strand, or like I mentioned, you can sandwich these bad boys together, making a lot more density. You can also customize them by cutting them in half and making smaller ones. Overall, they're really easy to install. However, there are some limitations with getting too close to the hairline, but in general, they're really easy to customize when it comes to coloring and the installation, making this a really great option if you're new to hair extensions. The next hair extension method I wanna talk about is the hybrid weft. Now what's amazing about these hybrid wefts is that they are machine bonded but are as thin as hand tied. And if you wanna know the difference between hand tied versus machine bond, basically a hand tied is literally hand tied, exactly what it means. However, when you cut a hand tied, the bond can unravel. Whereas machine bonded, it's done with a sewing machine and it's gonna keep this bond in place no matter where you cut it. So that's where this hybrid weft comes into place. It's basically the perfect marriage between a hand tied but machine bonded. That's why I love these so much. Now for a hybrid weft, as far as maintenance is concerned, you're gonna look at every six to eight weeks that you're gonna need to move them up. There's lots of different ways to install these, as simple as one row or even up to three rows. And what's really nice is that they are thin enough that you can layer on multiple wefts onto one row. They typically come in 18 inch to 22 inch, but they are definitely one of the most popular forms of installation today because, well, let's just say they're really easy to install and while they do take a little bit more time than tape in, there is no adhesive when it comes to these. Basically, if you're just looking for added length or density and you might need just a few rows and you wanna avoid the sticky tape, hybrid weft install might be for you. I would also recommend a hybrid weft for someone with medium to thick hair, because again, they're really customizable. However, if you're on the really low density fine side, I might consider a different option, but in general, a hybrid weft is honestly one of the best methods out there. Now these next two are pretty similar with one little difference. And I'm talking about the eye links and the flat tips. Now these are installed with a bead. Typically you can use a silicone bead or a flare bead. So let's talk about the similarities. The eye link and the flat tip are basically both individuals. However, the differences between these is an eye link has a more rounded tip and the flat tip is, well, you guessed it, flat. What makes these really desirable though is that they have that 360 motion. So if your client is gonna be wearing their hair up a lot or they just like that individual free form of install, they're really gonna like an individual form of 
hair extension. Now I've personally had eye links installed in my hair and honestly I felt like they looked the most natural out of all the other extension methods I've had. And that's not to say that the other methods are not natural looking, it's just more of like a personal preference when it comes down to an installation. And I think that has to do with just the way that they're individually placed into the hair and of course how they feel. Now as far as a move up appointment, you're looking at every six to 10 weeks to move these bad boys up. Another added benefit to these flat tips is because they are flat, I do think you have a little bit more coverage when it comes to the placement because they are laid flat right next to each other. Versus the eye link, it's more of like a rounded strand. So again, it just kind of comes down to preference on what you and your client really desire on how they feel on the head. A lot of times you just have to try one just to see if you're gonna like it. I would also suggest eye links or flat tips for someone who has pretty thick hair. So if you're on the medium to coarser side, these might be great for you. However, if you have ultra fine hair, they might be a little heavy because in addition to the weight of the hair, you're also adding on the weight of the bead. Now the beads are really, really lightweight, but even still, it's something to consider when you're working with ultra fine, low density hair. So as you can see, so far what we've talked about is anybody with medium hair to coarse hair, the hybrid weft, tape-ins, and eye links, and flat tips might be great for you. Now, what if you have ultra-fine, low-density hair, or really fragile hair, what should you do? Now, my personal favorite, honestly, for any hair type, but especially if you have ultra-fine, low-density hair, is a care link. Now, what is a care link? A Keralink is also known as a fusion bond, so it's a keratin bond that's heated up and wrapped around individual hair strands. And what makes these really desirable is these are the most customizable hair extensions there are out there. You literally can take this bond and cut it into fifths or probably even eighths if you really wanted to. You can cut them down pretty tiny, which means you can take them really close to the hairline. So these are great for solution-based hair extensions. So somebody that might have some thinning or they want to fill in that hairline or just want a longer, fuller look in general. Carolings are also the longest lasting method out there, which can last up to 12 weeks. Now, even though they last a really long time, the downside to these is that you're probably gonna wanna order a whole new pack of hair for an installation, and they do take a lot more time to install because you're heating up individually each strand as you move along. So it does take about four to six hours for a full head installation. However, you're really not coming back to the salon as frequently, so as far as time's concerned, I kind of like the Carolinks. I'd rather just kind of sit in the salon for the day, know that my hair is going to last me up to 12 weeks. Now there are two different methods that you do not need to go to a hair salon for an install. And I'm talking about the halos and clip-ins. So if you're the type of person that doesn't like the feeling of hair extensions in your hair, that's not a problem. These two methods, you can wear them in your hair for the day and simply take them out and sleep like you normally would at night. The downside to this though, is you do have to style your hair every single morning by putting them in. So again, it's all about preference and what's going to be right for you. Now, a solo is just that. It's a solo weft and it has this clear little headband that is a adjustable right on the interior. So depending on your head size, you can make this smaller or larger and make it fit right for you. You're basically gonna install this right on top of your head so this wire will blend right on in. And then simply take that top section and comb it right on over. That's it. And once you're all done with it and the night, you just take it off and you're done. It's literally that simple. A solo is also a great option if you're gonna be a bride or going to a special occasion and you don't want the commitment of a long-term hair extension method. Again, it all boils down to what is the best extension method for you and what is your comfortability like? Do you want something that is installed in your head about six to 12 weeks or are you looking for something just kind of short-term for a special occasion. Now the final option are clip-ins. Now what I love about clip-ins is that you can either clip them in 
in your entire head or pick and choose where you want that clip in to live. So if you're doing a special occasion, up style, side style, you can really custom place the, the clip ins so that way you can get the max amount of fullness, maybe on the side or in the center or wherever it is that you're looking for. Now there are different sizes inside of your pack, which I absolutely love. So you can fill in the wider ones towards the bottom. And then of course, take these little singular ones and put them right up on top. Now the cool thing about the Solo and these clip-ins is that you can install them yourself right at home. So there's really no need for you to go to the salon and install some hair extensions. For the clip-ins, you just simply decide where you want to put that hair, undo the little clip, insert it in, and simply close it shut. And now it's hanging out inside there, and hopefully that matches me pretty good. Now, of course, you're gonna need to add in a ton more, but definitely they blend in beautifully. And honestly, sometimes if I'm just trying to take a break from my hair extensions, I'll use either the Solo or the clip-ins just so I still feel like I have the added fullness that I love so much. Now, the other cool thing that Donna Bella gives you when you order these Solos or those clip-ins is it comes with a really cool bag and hanger. This hanger honestly is a must have for really any hair extension because this is not only gonna help you wash them really well, but you can also use it to style your hair. So really a solo or a clip-in is great for any hair type. There's no bead, there's no tape, and there's definitely no keratin bond. Simply pop them in and then you're done for the night. Just make sure you take care of that hair and use that hanger and store them properly. Now, I hope this brought some clarity to the seven different types of hair extension methods there are out there and which one is right for you. If you have any questions about hair extensions, please drop them down below. And if you loved this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Finally, be sure to check out my other hair tutorials right here on this channel. And I will see you next time.